Welcome to the Underground. This is John Adolphe along with my sidekick, Moomoo the Hud Dog, and we are at a Hud home today at 305 Knoll Street. That's spelled K N A U L Street in uh, the north side of Syracuse. And just to give you an idea, we're sort of like on a dead end street, but it's really not. There's Grumbach right there, and it kind of curves around here. But we are at the end of Knoll, and here is the. And there's my wife stooping down, trying to be. <laughs> <laughs> a little surprise there folks a little blooper all right so this property i've not been inside and i don't know the price yet because it's too new yet which is unusual so i'm going to be going through pointing out all the good and bad and then once i get the price i'm going to give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down let's take a walk around the house then let's just go just from a cursory inspection so far i like the way this looks you know whenever you see somebody taking the time to parge and then paint uh the uh, basement wall on the outside, the foundation, you know that there's been some TLC, at least at some point, uh, you know, in this house's history. We've got a one car garage back here. Looks like it's in really nice shape so far. Let me just see what this is. Yeah, it's uh, aluminum siding. All right, let's go take a look inside. I just walked in through the enclosed front porch. It's, it's really nice. It's really nice inside. Very impressed with it so far. It's got about a little over 1,500 square feet. It's what they call a bungalow, which is a older style ranch. And beautiful older wood door. Very nice. Come on, girl, let's go inside and take a look. Now, before you ask, the chances of because of this house was uh, built in, uh, let's see right here, 1900, the chances of hardwood floors being underneath these carpets is like almost 100%. I can't tell you for sure, but my experience tells me that it should be. Okay, we got countertops from the 1970s in here. So you got a downstairs bedroom or office. Look at the wood, it's beautiful. It's intact, it hasn't been molested. You know, I have a feeling that somebody lived here, took some really good care of this place and just kept it, you know, really up and it shows. <laughs> Moomoo -moo getting frisky over there off camera. Moomoo, -moo, the HUD house is the star of the show. I'm sorry, you can't be. All right, what we got in here is painted paneling. Double closets. Look at the hardwoods. Look at the door. Am I getting too nostalgic here? <laughs> it's just nice to see the old stuff in really good shape. So we go into the kitchen. It's got wood paneling, older wood paneling. Got old countertops from the 1960s, early 70s. Everything is in excellent condition, even though it's older. What I would do is I would come in here and I would, if you like the paneling, keep it. It's very durable and it also looks nice. But if it's too much for you, because you can see it's all the way around here, if it's too much for you, then uh, take some sheetrock and just remove it, put some sheetrock on. If there's not sheetrock underneath, there probably is. And then replace all of the um, countertops here and the backboard, splashboard there. Put a little tile there, new, new sink, faucet, and uh, get some handles. There's no handles on these, um, but if you get yourself some new handles for it, it would really dress it up because it's got the notch underneath here. That's the reason why. Uh, you could make this really look nice. All right. And then we've got laundry room slash bedroom in here. Oh, we got an upstairs. All right, hold on. Let me see. I think we skipped one room here, which is the bathroom. Again, older style, but nice. Large cabinet here. Another cabinet down there. Got ceramic tile there and a uh, light, not bright, just light colored, light pinkish. Not bright pink, there's a difference. 
Let's go upstairs. This must be where the... Got another bedroom up here. Well, wow. Let's see if the electricity's on. No. This upstairs has not been remodeled. Ooh, wait a minute. This is, this is what's great about not knowing, because here we are. We do have an upstairs room that's been remodeled. You get surprised along the way, which is really fun. Nice closet, good sized closet. Just wanna back up here. It's a good sized room. You could finish off the rest of this up here. All right, let's go head down cellar. All right, we're at the base of the stairs, and you know, whenever I see carpet downstairs and I don't smell musty smell, mold, it's a good sign that they do not have a problem or very little problem with water in the basement. Not to say it's foolproof, but I'm just saying usually they don't put, uh, invest in this much carpeting if it's uh, a wet mess down here most of the year. Hey, we got your gas meter in here. Okay, forced air furnace. Yeah, it looks like it's it's a little bit older, maybe yeah, I'm gonna guess and say 15, 20 years old. Hot water tank looks like it's newer. Alright. Maybe about 10 years old. Ceilings down here are about six foot, about six foot three, six foot two. Okay. All right. So in just a little bit, as soon as I get the price, I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this and give it either a thumbs up or a thumbs down or a sideways thumb here. But before comes. I do that, look what I found. I found another full bath down here in the basement. Ooh, value added. This is your this is the bonus, the bonus room here on this video. All right, here comes my final analysis. Well, I just got word from HUD that they're going to be putting the property on the market for $49,000 and uh oh, here comes the big thumb and it is it going to give it a thumbs up. Sideways thumb at 49,000. Look, the house is assessed for 43,000. Not that that is necessarily the indicator of property value, but um, I thought it was going to be less than that. $49,000, you be the judge of it. To see inside this property now, keep watching. HUD does adjust prices every 60 and then 30 days. I'm John Adolfi. Give us a call at 695-6434. Have a great day. Thanks for stopping by the Underground. And again, sideways thumbs up.